guys what's going on my name is Luis and god bless to every single one of you today is september 1st 2024 and welcome to the real gs news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and we have a big breaking news coming out the west coast in that region right now chaos i mean look at this here guys san diego sector out of control you have multiple from different parts of the world arriving in that region in San Diego. And I just posted a video not too long ago about the uh, the bus. You have this country here, Mexico launches escorted bus initiative for non-Mexican immigrants with a sleeping giant asylum appointments. These are the buses here. Whew. Brand new bus. We have more breaking news up. The Mississippi State Auditor released a report saying that over 22,000 of these new people have settled in the state and will cost taxpayer over $100 million dollars every year all right so they're coming in great numbers are coming in san diego i do believe arizona also by plane and they're coming in buses so as we get closer and closer to november they really really need them v-o-t-e-s all right, guys, uh, before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, let's see what's going on here. We're going to go with this one, and then we're going to see what's going on in San Diego. San Diego, uh-uh. There's some stuff going on there, and it's really hot. There's a lot of people coming in in that region. Mississippi State, okay, I already read that part. Let's go with the with this one here. Additionally, 34% of the state foreign-born population are now illegal. Our public school, hospital, and prison will continue to lose massive sums of money that we could have spent on our own citizens if this problem is not solved. Shad White said. Something else I found interesting is how the states usually spend $6,995 every year per student. But they are now spending almost $8,000 on around 2,500 illegal young ones because they also need English lesson. This is wild. Why are the rest states allowing it to happen? Hmm. 2500 And each one of them is almost $8,000? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Alright, let's see what's going on with this breaking news. Let's see what's going on in... Um, San Diego. The 4-6 in the VP America. The San Diego sector of the southern region has seen many. We're talking about a lot coming into the sleeping giant, especially since Texas has taken action on the Operation Lone Star to secure their portion. And one day alone this past Friday, the San Diego sector had 27 illegal from Jordan and 23 from China, which were encountered by the BP. In addition, the day before that, the BP encountered 94 from India and 35 from China. These statistics show that the 4-6 uh, the and the VP is still welcoming them from around the world. Hmm. Now, I worry about 
those countries, I, I truly worry about those countries there, especially this one here. Now, the reason why, guys, is because they could be working for, I don't want to say this name, but uh, they could be coming here not to start a beautiful, bright future or for a job, but to do certain things that the FB, you know who, director, Christopher Ray has been sounding the alarm. These people, you need to be careful. These people, you need to be careful because they come here not to uh, cut grass. <laughs> they come here to start a 2001. You guys already know what happened 2001. Now, follow me with these code words. I try not to get hit. I got suspended a couple of times. The incentive in California is even greater considering the um, extremely LEFT policies that are more friendly to, yes, they are friendly to those new people that's coming from the Southern. I mean, again, Gavin just passed the bill. You guys, $150,000 loan for a house. You guys are going to have free this and free that. You're going to have all the goodies. This past week, California State uh, again voted to give illegal home loans valued at one hundred fifty thousand dollars with no interest. With no interest, <sighs> they got it good. <laughs> they got it good. They got it really good out there in California. Uh, Donald has been consistent with uh, the Southern Security with his commitment to deport all of them. Get out of here. Again, that's according to Donald. Looking at the VP policy, quickly reveal that she wants open. She wanted open and she, she got all them buses. All them buses out there in Mexico. All them buses is going to bring them all here. Once again, revealed that she wants open doors. And you know what? For millions. She wants millions to come in. Millions. Hold on, though. It's November year. So now the VP is talking like she wants to protect the southern region. Flip-flop. VP flip-flop will say anything to help her campaign. This is the real VP. Now, I'm not going to play the video, guys, due to uh, copyright. But it says here, in 2019, the VP claimed that Donald has created a fiction about a crisis at the Sudden and called the Sudden Barrier a vanity project. She has never walked these statements back. Not once. This is who she is. Now, she says she wanted to finish the, uh, the barrier. But remember, throughout the many years, uh, from 2016 to 2024, you could go back to her videos from previous years. She called the barrier a really, really crazy idea, and she said all these bad things about it. After all, VP is the... I'm going to skip that name there, guys. The press has tried to erase that claim. Let's take a look at that uh, inconsistency. And after the 4-6 was forced out of the race, they quickly changed their tune. Journalists were calling VP the you-know-what. Unlike until like five minutes ago, don't let the media gaslight you. Mm. So right now, that's where we at. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where we at. And make sure you check out this video. This video is is trending. We're talking about the buses. Look at all these. Look at all all, all those beautiful buses. Wow, isn't that amazing? That's the VP right there. That is the VP. Mrs. Harris. Beautiful buses. Millions are coming. Beautiful buses. Those are brand new. Once again, you have the Mexican Gov announced Saturday that it will offer non-Mexican immigrants with appointments to apply for asylum 
in the sleeping giant escorted bus rides from the south of the country to the northern border. So it's going to be much more quicker to bring them to our sleeping giant. Oh yeah, the VP has a lot to do with this. So we are seeing something here, guys. They keep coming. And it's very concerning what's going on in San Diego because you have a whole bunch of uh, those coming from other regions. And uh, yeah, we need to be prepared. Now, Christopher Ray, the FB, you know what, I director uh, has put out multiple warnings that eventually we will see something worse than 2001. So again, guys, like I say, just buckle up and, uh, <clears throat> you know, just stay in prayer. So I'm not going to read this here because, I, again, I just post a video of it. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the comments box. This, uh, this is the one right here. Yeah, so, yeah, we already talked about this one. So, again, I will keep it updated on all these news, but uh, millions underway. Those are the buses. <whistles> the military soldier is going to be uh, operating the buses. All right, so this is where we at. Please share the video, and um, I will keep it updated on all this. If you guys like, like the content, make sure you hit that notification bell, subscribe, and um, make sure you check out the videos I posted. All the links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.